All right, so we're looking at my uh, rubidium uh, frequency standard. This right here is a 24 volt power supply. It's a switching supply. And on the top, I've got mounted uh, two different uh, common mode uh, chokes uh, with some uh, filter capacitors. Uh, I've, I've got three 1000 microfarad filter capacitors and 2.33 microfarad polyester capacitors across the uh, output of the chokes. I've got one on the input. And uh, I can't show you what the raw signal looked like before I put the capacitor on the input. However, uh, we can take a look at the uh, at the signal as it is right now. Let's uh, see if I can get something we can see here. I think we can see that. So uh, right now I'm on the uh, Times 10 probe. I'm on the uh, uh, the most sensitive uh, volt per division scale I've got on this particular scope, which is five millivolts uh, per division. And uh, at the moment we have at least three divisions, so we're looking at 15 millivolts, which times 10 would be about 150 millivolts of noise uh, in a repetitive. Um, uh, oh repetitive logarithmic kind of a uh, uh, curve. So let's take a look at um, at what happens though as we progress through the, uh, the filter. Let's go to the uh, output, 24 volts output that goes to the rubidium source itself. Okay. All right, I haven't touched the controls, and yet it's difficult to even see a spike. So um, there is a spike there. It's very narrow. Happens about every uh, 20 microseconds. I think if you look sharp, you can see a spike here and here. Um, the spike itself is no more than 5 millivolts high, and uh, it lasts for an extremely small amount of time. I, I don't know right now. Uh, we'll see if we can find, we'll figure it out in a minute. All right, I'm going up in horizontal time scale. Here we go. All right, now that's the worst part of the output waveform. This is at the spike itself. So that narrow spike, uh, we are looking at is, um, I don't know, it's about, uh, tenth of a microsecond duration. So right now I'm at uh, 20 nanoseconds of division and we've got maybe what one, two, three, four, five, one, two. I'd say six, five or six so you know, maybe a hundred nanoseconds, uh, again, 0.1 microseconds of, of noise that we see in a spike. And it's no more than uh, uh, five milliseconds uh, amplitude peak and um, times 10 would be uh, 50. So we've got uh, 50 millivolts of signal for about a tenth of a microsecond. Outside of that, everything is, um, oh, probably down around uh, one or two millivolts uh, maximum.
you can see as we get uh, beyond the spike itself it's a very very narrow clean voltage uh, signal I'm not I'm not picking up noise at all I'm AC coupled right now on the maximum scale and there's our spike that's our spike right there I hope you can see this I it's very difficult to Try it. There we go. So now you can see the spike. But outside of that, there just isn't much there. Okay. So, now that we've seen the noise, let's take a look at the signal. That's our 10 megahertz signal at 0.5 um, volts per division. We are running right now um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divisions. So that'd be 3 volts peak to peak times, um, times 10. Well, yeah, it has to be. We're getting 30 volts peak to peak. And um, I can I can zoom in on anything I want to zoom in on in here and uh, we will not be able to see the noise. There's the crest. That's usually where the noisiest spot is on the waveform. As I'm passing through it, you don't see it. So it's a very clean signal. Quite happy with it and uh, should be quite stable. I'm in lock right now as my uh, voltmeter would indicate. We have hit zero. We normally are 4.6 volts when we first turn it on. And uh, that's it. Okay.